this is my how-to video on how to use this program called Scratch. And on this program you can make anything pretty much that you want to. I've been using it to make a couple games, which I will proceed to show you. And then I will show you a little bit on how to make um, basically whatever you want. Um, it's pretty simple once you get to know how to use it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, basically, as much as you learn, the more you do it, the easier it is to learn. It's pretty complicated at first, and then once you get the hang of it, you know, you get better at it as time, but that pretty much goes for everything. And in this program, you use sprites, which you can see down here. I've got one sprite is a cat, one sprite is an airplane, and one sprite is this start button up here, which you actually use to start the game. And if I click that, it'll actually start this little video that I've prepared to show you guys. And then you can see he falls down out of the airplane. And that's basically that all this one's composed of. Each sprite, however, has its own costumes that it uses. And as you've seen, it starts out um, falling out of the plane with a parachute. And then when it hits the ground, it changes to this costume right here, which is without the parachute. And then you use your scripts to tell your sprites what to do exactly. So here, when it receives start, which this start button broadcasts start, so when the cat receives start, it hides and then switches to costume one. And then it goes to this area, and it waits two seconds, and switches to costume 3, which is the parachute. It then shows itself and glides down to here, which is where it's sitting now, and switches to costume 1. So when you hit start again, it automatically takes it and resets it back at the first place, and switches it back to the parachute. The airplane that goes across the screen is more simple. When it receives starts, it shows and goes over here where it starts out and then it waits one second and glides the, and then it hides when it reaches that area so it can start over back here and the start button all it does is broadcast the start which sends everything else into motion and the cat waits a certain amount of time so it uh, appears right behind the airplane as it passes it now um, if you want to learn how to make something your own it's pretty simple, it's just some of the commands are a little bit more difficult. So here you can start with your stage, which you can make your backgrounds for. And you can copy and edit. So we'll edit this one, and you can use marker, an eraser, and pretty much anything you would on a normal paint program. And you can draw whatever you want, so we'll just make a circle or something, I guess. And then it appears around the cat and then you can drag the cat wherever you want. You can also add scripts to the backgrounds which I have not messed with currently. Um, you can also do the same for the costumes of the cat and you can draw and you can also import different sprites from here. And it gives you a couple options and there's some that are in here. Or you can draw your own which is what you use right here. And you can also get a surprise one which adds a random sprite into the game with you. And then for all of these, you can add scripts. You can use it when the flag is clicked, which is up here. And the flag clicks is normally started as soon as you load the game up. And then whatever appears underneath of this will occur. So when that is clicked, it can, let's say, wait one second. And then you can go up to your different tabs. And those consist of motion, look, sound, pen, control, sensing, operators, and variables. Variables you will use for stuff like gravity and other variables that you'll find throughout the program. Control pretty much consists of all your broadcasts and then you have your functions so forever if or if and then if or else. And those use sensing or operators which you can use, you know, to your greater than or equal to. You can use your motion to turn things so it can move 10 steps. So then, this girl over here, when we click this, it'll wait one second and then move 10 steps. As I can show you.
which isn't much apparently, but you can do it in small increments as I can show you in this other program, or in my other file. And here's the first one I proceeded to make, which is a little bit more complicated than the others, and the one I spent the most time on. In the script of my sprite one, which is my cat, you can see here that it has to move. It waits 0.1 second, moves 10 steps, and switches costumes. Which, if I show you its costumes, it has a running and a standing still. Like so. Here, I will show you. If I move right, it runs, you know, and stops. And then does a flip at the end. You can add anything else you want into here, too. And that's pretty much it. It gets complicated, as, more complicated as far as you go, and you can pretty much dig as deep into this program as you want. And to get more tutorials and help on this, you can go to the Scratch website, which will show you tutorials that people have made. And it should help you get started in this project. And that is all.